Hello everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome to my channel. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas, an amazing New Year. And I hope that in 2022 that we all have an amazing year and hopefully the pandemic is behind us, which I doubt it. But today's video, as you can tell from the title, I thought I would start my first video in 2022 as a perfume haul. I haven't done a fragrance haul in a really long time. And as you know from my channel, I've been doing tons of reviews fragrance battles, first impressions, but um, I picked up a ton of fragrances, uh, mainly because obviously the winter sales and like everyone's doing 20% off here, 30% off, off here, an extra 10% off there. So I thought this was the best time to stock up on my faves and also try out some new fragrances. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe and like this video. I do have a fragrance related playlist so you can if you i will have it up here somewhere and if you click on that you'll have all my videos created in one playlist um if you're interested in some of the previous fragrances that i have reviewed so i'm kind of going in no particular order so the first thing that i picked up was the giorgio armani c if you know my channel you know that i this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances i've done a review on this and i think i've, I've also done um like a C comparison but they have a few other um, fragrances in the C line and I have done a video on that so I'll have that in the description box down below if you're interested but I picked this up in the 150 ml or the 5.1 fluid ounces this is huge and the only reason why I picked up this size is because they were doing where did I get this from um I'll have it in this video if I remember but I think it was cult no i can't remember where i got this from but um they were doing 30 it was 30 percent off and then they were doing an extra 10 so i basically got it for 40 percent off and i thought this is an amazing deal um it is absolutely huge um i have also the um my currency that i'm using and this is a 50 ml or a 1.7 fluid ounces so you can see the um size difference but it's humongous and it's definitely going to last me a really long time i love this fragrance it's sweet it's sophisticated it's feminine it's my favorite and i'm so happy i picked this up at such a good deal sticking with c um i also picked up another one of my of c passion so um i actually got this in a gift set because it honestly works out to be a little bit more cheaper and i think it came with like a mini version as well as the um body lotion but i love this fragrance again i have done a review on this um along with the other c fragrances so i will leave that in the description box down below but yeah this is one of my favorites definitely one that i will keep on repurchasing um, my favorite one is definitely the original can you see the size difference it's huge and um, my favorite is definitely definitely the original seam but i love this one too this is in the 50 ml or the 1.7 fluid ounces and the last Giorgio Armani fragrance that I picked up is C Intense. So I'm actually going to do a um, fragrance battle with this one and the original C. So stay tuned for that. But um, I, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, because I love the original C. So if this is like an intense version of that, I want, it, I want it in my life. I did pick up the smallest one just because... Um, I just wasn't sure what it was gonna smell like and I hadn't smelled it in person. This actually came out last year, so it's a relatively new fragrance. Um, so this is just how it looks. Um, and I just got it in the 30 ml or the, is it 0 0.7? No, the one fluid ounce, sorry. Yeah, so this is C Intense and then this is the, look how big, <laughs> I can't get over, over how big this is. But um, yeah, I'm ex I've actually already tried it. Um, I don't want to say too much because I want you guys to watch the video. But I will say that if you have C, you probably don't need this. Like you don't need both of them because they are very similar. This would I would say is just a deeper version of the original C. But that's all I'm going to say because like I said, stay tuned for that video. Next, I picked up um, a another repurchase and this is Misty You're Absolutely Blooming. Um, I should probably open it. So I still have like a tiny bit left of my um, current 
Miss Dior absolutely blooming, but I figured I'd pick up another one. I did only get this in the 30 mil, and only because they were only doing 10% off. Oh wait, it's, oh my God, it's tiny. <laughs> did you give it's absolutely tiny. I don't know why I thought it was bigger. I guess because I don't really buy 30 mil fragrances. I usually buy 50 mil or the 1.7 fluid ounces. And hopefully, um, maybe like another website, I can find it like an extra 20% off or something. But um, yeah, I picked up the small one. I absolutely love this fragrance. I have done a fragrance battle with this and um, the original Miss Dior. So definitely check that out. I'll leave that in the description box down below. But this, to, <laughs> this is like, it's, but it's like a sweet floral fragrance. It's amazing. Like it's the perfect spring summertime fragrance. It's incredibly um, intoxicating and it lasts forever on the skin and on the clothes. This one, if I walk in a room, like everyone's gonna smell me because this is like, this is just a statement fragrance. It's so loud, it's in your face and everything that I'm, I look for in a fragrance. So I will keep on repurchasing this because it's my absolute favorite fragrance one of my favorite fragrances of all time. And then from Joe Malone, my parents actually picked this up for me from the airport because they were traveling. And Joe Malone, it's pr practically near impossible to get it discounted. So at the airport, I asked them to pick this up because it would have been 20% off because it's tax free. Um, so from Joe Malone, this is just a repurchase because like I said, with Joe Malone, it's like their it's so overwhelming the amount of fragrances they have and so obviously me not being at the airport I didn't want them to pick up some random fragrance that I wasn't gonna like so I just picked up a repurchase of the Poppy and Barley look how cute the packaging is I'm obsessed and um, they always package their stuff beautifully but it's just a repurchase of Poppy and Barley and I asked them I kind of regret this I probably should have told them to pick it up in the 100 mil and not the 30 just because it works out to be cheaper and if you're getting it 20% off tax free then it makes sense to get the bigger bottle but I literally wasn't even thinking but this is just how it looks I have done a review on this I, it was actually the last video that I put up so definitely go check that out I love 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 this fragrance it's a relatively new fragrance to um, Joe Malone I believe it came out in 2019 um, but I love this fragrance but like I said I probably should have got the bigger bottle but I really love how they like their packaging is just I'm a sucker for cute packaging like I keep packaging all the time because I can't like part ways with it because it's so gorgeous and in this cute bag my parents actually said it came in an even bigger bag because they actually bought some stuff from Jo Malone too um but yeah so that's Poppy and Barley from Jo Malone next up we have Victor and Rolf Bonbon bon. I've actually tried this fragrance before, um, maybe like three years ago, and I didn't repurchase really it, and I'm not really sure why, because I actually really do like this fragrance. Um, and they were doing 20% off, and so, I'm trying to get it out of the packaging. Okay. How cute is that? Their packaging is to absolute die for, like that is just, I can't, <laughs> I can't. But this, if you love ink, like really, sweet fruity fragrances you're gonna love this if you don't like sweet and fruity and like it's almost sickly sweet if you don't like those type of fragrances you're not gonna like this but um when i because i'm also gonna do a i think a fragrance battle with this one and another flower bomb fragrance but um when i was i've been using it quite I've been using it here and there and i just remembered like how much i really loved it and i'm not sure why i didn't put repurchase it um sooner because i absolutely love this like victor and rolf do really great fragrances they are very generic and everyone and their grandmother has them i think flower bomb is probably the most popular but i think bonbon bon is a beautiful fragrance and the packaging is just to die for so definitely stay tuned for that video that i have coming up with um victor and rolf bonbon bon. but even like the box like Packaging, packaging, packaging. Sticking with Victor and Rolf, um, I also picked up Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Nectar. Um, and so I've never actually tried this before. So I've tried Flower Bomb, which I didn't pick up. Um, it is a nice fragrance, but I feel like everyone wears Flower Bomb from Victor and Rolf. And so I wanted to try Nectar. And again, because they were having 20% off, I was like, okay, this is an incentive to purchase. And so, this actually only comes in two sizes. I forgot to mention, 
um, this bonbon is in 30 ml or one fluid ounces and this is um, 50 ml the 1.7 fluid ounces and I think this is like the smallest size you can get it in and then I think the next one up is 90 ml um, but this is just how it looks I definitely prefer the packaging of this one compared to the original flower bomb and this is amazing it's sweet it's floral it's feminine sophisticated oh I, I love it so much and it lasts so long on the skin um, I think I'm actually gonna do a comparison with these two and they are very different I feel like this is more on the fruity side and this one is more on the floral side so if you love floral fragrances I mean you will definitely love this yeah and I think I do prefer it better than um, the original flower bomb I think this one to me is more intense than the original flower bomb so I picked this up and I'm so excited to do my video on this because I have some thoughts on this but I love it so much Next up, I repurchased the um, YSL Black Opium, um, and this is huge. <laughs> this is in the um, this is the 90 ml or the three fluid ounces, so it's absolutely humongous. And the only reason why I picked up this um, size is because the price difference between this one and the 50 ml wasn't particularly huge because it was on sale. I believe it was 30% off, so I just figured just go for the big one. And um, this is like a cult flake favorite. Everyone absolutely loves this fragrance it has i believe notes of like coffee in it it's sweet it's feminine but i think it's the coffee that like blows people away and it doesn't smell like if you haven't smelled this fragrance it doesn't smell like straight coffee but it has i believe coffee notes in it which is why it's so popular and it's so sweet let me spray it oh yeah <laughs> that's really good i love this i will say though that this does does not last the absolute longest at all like it's one of those ones where you would have to um, like spray throughout the day because it just it doesn't last as long but I do have a miniature version which I'll probably put in my bag when I am wearing this fragrance another repurchase is the Valentino Donna born in Roma love 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 this fragrance it's like firstly the packaging is like stunning absolutely stunning but this is a beautiful fragrance. I actually have a video on this as well, which I'll leave down below, but this is like, oh, it to me, it's such a pretty fragrance. It's so pretty, it's so feminine. I actually remember when I was at work and I was at my desk and somebody came over to my desk and they were like to me, oh my gosh, you smell so like feminine. And I was wearing, I was actually wearing this and a combination of Misty or Absolutely Blooming. I don't know why I paired them together, it was just, <laughs> I was going through it they complimented how i smell really feminine and i feel like this is like the epitome of like a really feminine like sexy just delicate fragrant fragrance it's it's sweet oh i i love it i literally have like half left of my other bottle but because again i believe it was 30 percent off i was like okay i need to pick up another one um and this is in the 50 ml or the 1.7 fluid ounces but if you haven't smelt this definitely go and try it I did see that the um, Valentino, what is it, Viva something something, that was also on sale, but I hadn't smelled it before. I mean, I looked at the note, I was a bit unsure. So if you've tried that um, Valentino fragrance, the Viva Vulture, I don't, I don't know what it's called. I would leave it here. But if you've tried that fragrance, let me know how it smells. Is it sweet? Is it citrusy? I was reading some reviews and people were saying it's citrusy and that's not usually like the type of fragrance that I gravitate towards. So I didn't pick that up, but let me know if you like that fragrance and whether it's worth um, picking up and doing a comparison with um, Donna Born in Roma. Okay, the last two fragrances. Um, I, another repurchase is the um, Lancome Le Vie Air Belle. I picked this up in the 30 ml, I believe. Yeah, this is the 30 ml of the one fluid ounces. Again, one of my like, I would categorize this as a really feminine, sexy, delicate kind of scent. It's a perfect like date kind of fragrance. Again, one of my favorites. I've repurchased this so many times. I'm not sure why I bought the smaller bottle. 
Um, I'm not sure if like the other sizes were like out of stock, but I believe this again was also 30% off. Um, and so I couldn't pass it up. I, I love this fragrance. I have, I'm not sure if I have a video on this, but if I do, I'll leave it in the description box down below. But again, oh yeah. Oh, it's just so sweet and feminine. And it just, oh. I feel like all of these fragrances are like sweet and feminine and just beautiful. But okay, and last but not least, um, I have a fragrance from Laura Mercier, and this is the Almond Coconut. It's an eau de toilette, which is a very type I don't typically go for eau de toilette. I always go for eau de parfums, but I believe this only comes in the eau de toilette because it's part of their like body range. Because there's also a souffle and I believe the soap as well. It kind of reminds me of the Jo Malone packaging, just very, very simple. I have this in the 50ml bottle and I've tried this before um, and oh my God, it's so milky and nutty and just coat, oh, there's a fly. It's just milky and nutty um, and just, oh, coconut, almonds. It's just, it reminds me of like being on the beach or something, just like a great holiday fragrance. I'm actually gonna do a review of this along with the body souffle because I do have the almond coconut um, souffle. This is not a fragrance that I would wear like to work. I was like going out to meet a friend just because I don't think it would last that long. But if you're having like a day at home and you're pampering yourself and you just wanna smell good, this is, oh, it's so edible. And delicious and I love it if you love nutty almond coconut type scents you'll definitely love this so that is the end of this video there were a ton of fragrances but like I said I'm gonna leave all of the reviews and fragrance battles all in the description box down below if you're interested um, in seeing my thoughts on them but definitely stay tuned for the fragrances that are new to me because I'm definitely gonna do videos on that um, all the products mentioned will be listed in the description box down below but I thank you guys all so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>